What's up everybody and welcome to Think Spatial, the channel that's dedicated to bringing you how-to videos on all things related to spatial technology and GIS tools. Today we're going to cover something that I think is pretty important if you're an Esri ArcGIS user, and that's how to edit Esri vector tile base maps so you can use them within your web maps, web applications, and so forth. Um, I'm going to link the application that I'm using down in the description below, and it'll take you straight there. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. You can also find this if you just simply just Google um, editing Esri editing Esri vector tile base maps, and it should be the very first thing that pops up. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to ask you to sign in, and what it's going to look for is your ArcGIS Online account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my credentials. It's going to give you some cert, some very clear guidelines saying this is the version it's using, this is kind of what it's intended for. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And then you're going to see there's nothing in there right now because I currently, this is a brand new account, I haven't edited any base maps before. So what we're going to do is going to go over and hit Copy Esri Base Map Item. And you're going to see all of the Esri Vector, Esri vector Tile Base Maps that you can edit from Dark Gray Canvas, Light Gray Canvas, um, anything that's on ArcGIS Online, you can edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit light gray canvas and hit okay. It's copying it to the application and it says it's been copied. I'm gonna hit okay and you're gonna see it over here on the left-hand side. Now, if you already have vector tile layers within ArcGIS Online, these will show up as well. So if you wanna go ahead and make some further edits, that's awesome, you can go ahead and do that here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and you're gonna notice up in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, this is what the base map is. You, you're, this is what you would see in ArcGIS Online. And what's cool is when you make the edits over here, which we're gonna to get to, these are all the layers that are compiled within that base map. And you can see exactly what these are for. So forest parks, um, labels, beaches, boundary lines, anything that's in the map, you can edit here. So far as turning them off altogether, or changing the color to changing the uh, scale dependency, anything. So let's go ahead and zoom back out over here. And then I want to, let's say I want to change the actual base color of the, of what the water is. Now I know I've done this a couple of times, so it's, I know it's all the way at the bottom. It's called background. If I want to change the color, I just want to click on here. Let's say I want to make it like a nice, you know, like a water, like a bluish color. I'm going to head to hit okay. And there you can see the change happens on the left hand side, right in the map pane, which is, it's pretty cool. Instead of the, the easier, the, the conventional way of doing this is downloading the style file from ArcGIS Online and editing the JSON hand by hand. This, you can see the changes live, which is amazing. And if you do want to go into the JSON and you can just click on the background and here's the JSON for that specific layer, which if you want that kind of flexibility, or if you know JSONs that well, you can go ahead and do that. Um, so I've go ahead and changed the background color, which is good. We'll go and then let's say, let's zoom into an area. Let's say I want to zoom into Oklahoma City here. Um, and let's say I want a base map that uh, that specifies on railroads. Let's see if I can find the railroad layer in here. There's roads, road tunnels. I'm getting close to railroads. So let's say if I want to change this color or the color specifically for railroads, I want to accentuate it. So here's railroads. Here's what the native color is because it's light gray canvas. Everything's going to be a white gray scale. I want to make this bright red. I want to, I want it to stand out. I'm going to hit OK. And if I zoom in, there you go. There's all the railroads that have now been turned to red. So this is an easy way. If you want to change stuff, you can change the color. You can change the, the size. You can turn things off. If I want to turn off all the major roadways, and if I want, if I have my own road center line, I just turn all of these off and I can save this out. And then when I get into ArcGIS Online environment, I just add that layer on top and it makes it super simple. It's, I think this is an amazing tool that um, a lot of people should be using. So let's say if this is the changes I've made, this is very simple. Um, I would go ahead and save this out. Actually, there's one more thing that I want to show you guys. If, if you want to see, well, what's the color? Like if, if I click on pick color, and I want to see everything that's the same color as this water here. I just click on that and there's all the layers that are that same color. So if I say, oh, I want my water to match my road center line, or if I want it to match my parks, you can do that. You can see exactly what color matches that color background, which is a pretty cool. If you want, instead of 
memorizing the codes, you can just pick it on the map. But let's say this is the map I wanna use, this is everything I wanna do. I wanna go ahead and hit update item, vector base map style updated. Okay, and you can see up in the left-hand corner, or the right-hand corner, I'm logged in. So now this is the cool part. When I go to ArcGIS Online and I sign in, it's gonna be there. Go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna go to my content and there it is, Likery Canvas copy. This is what I just made um, in the application. Go ahead, open it up. And you can see there's the color of the background that I changed. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in back into Oklahoma City. And we'll see, there's my railroads. My railroads changed to the bright red color. And again, you can do this with any layer that's there. You can change the color, you can remove, turn off the layers, and then you can add yours back in. Um, and then what I would do is I wanna move this layer that I just created to the base map. I'm gonna remove the old base map. And then I'll go ahead and rename this as base map. And that's it. And then all you'd have to do is save this out as your own map. And then there you go. This is, I think it's an amazing tool that a lot of people use because since everything's starting to move to ArcGIS Online environment with web map, web applications, uh, collector, all sorts of things. This is huge if you want to incorporate your existing data with Esri's uh, original vector base maps. Um, that's it guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as possible and I'll catch you guys in the next one.